Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today I'm going to be doing something kind of different. It's not a news video, it's not a live stream. Today I'm going to be talking about the Switch and about the games that I think that were on the Wii U that were very, very good and not on Switch yet and I think that they should be. Alright, so first game I want to talk about is Super Mario 3D World. Now, I love this game. I loved it. I played it. I have 100%ed it. I've done everything in that game. I loved it. It was very, very good. It was much good. I enjoyed it. Now, if I've played it and 100%ed it, why would I want it again on Switch? Now, that being, I have a very, very strong opinion now that I would want this on Switch. I would love that just for the portable mode. Just for that portable mode. Play it in the car. Play it in the street. Play it on the toilet. Play it anywhere. Mario 3D World Portable. It would be amazing. Um, it is a very, very pretty game. It's not as pretty as something like as Odyssey or not as pretty as Breath of the Wild. And it would obviously run, it was a Wii U game, it would run, it would run perfectly. Maybe you could get it at 1080p, I wasn't sure if the original game was at 1080p, um, but maybe you could push it to Switch. I know we have seen that with a lot of other games, such as Donkey Kong and Hyrule Warriors and other stuff that is now from 720 on the Wii U that got jumped up to 1080 So hopefully we'll be able to get this game in 1080p, it would be beautiful. Um, it seems to be 60fps. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. that. The Wii U one could be 30, but you know if it was on Switch, it'd probably be 60 FPS if it isn't already. Um, yeah, very very fun game. Maybe some little extra characters, some little you know hidden things, some more features would be nice. Um, we got Funky Mode with Donkey Kong Country. Uh, we got a definitive edition of Hyrule Warriors, which is all the 3DS content as well, as well as some texture updates. We got Mario Kart Deluxe, which is like completely deluxe with like more characters and everything. So maybe I'll have a little bit more, fe uh, little bit more features there as well. So that'd be a bit nice to get a little bit of content. Um, but either way, if they were just to bring the game as it was, thirty pound, twenty nine ninety nine, thirty five pound at most, I would say, I'd buy it. I'd buy it again, and I'd love it. Um, you know, knowing Nintendo, it's probably going to be a fifty pound game because all of Nintendo's games are fifty pound games. But uh, it, would be very, it would be very, very nice. I think it would do well for Nintendo if this was a £30 game. In the same way Captain Toad was. That's the point. We had Captain Toad, which is a spin-off. Alright? Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is a spin-off of Mario 3D World. Yeah? And that got ported to Switch before it. Now, I have a couple of theories why I don't think this game is actually on Switch yet. One of these reasons being that they just brought over New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And obviously, that's a very, very simple Mario game. If you have 3D World on the shelves and then you then you bring out uh, this game it's not gonna look as good you know so I feel like Nintendo wanted to get this little you know Mario Bros U game out first then give us Mario Maker to advertise 3D World and then give us 3D World that's what I think they're doing but it is a little bit weird how they decided to put over this game first but I kind of get it from a business standpoint you know if you can put out two games and then both sell really well just work out your timing better they're gonna do it so I think with this timing they, they bring out the, you know, the smaller Mario game, the not as big Mario game. Advertise it a little bit in Mario Maker, which is very, very popular, and then bring it out. It will, you know, Mario Maker uh, will make some money. That will make Mario Bros. U Deluxe will make money, and 3D World will probably make more money as well. So that's what I think they're doing. I don't know. Maybe after 3D World we could see a Odyssey DLC or something. I don't know. I hope to see some more for Odyssey. Maybe Odyssey 2, or maybe another Mario thing. Anyway, that's what I think will happen with 3D World, and I think it is on the horizon. It is very, very weird how we haven't got it on Switch, though. Alright, so the next game that I think should be on the Switch is a game that I didn't enjoy when it first came out. That being Star Fox Zero. Now, I have some, you know, thoughts on the game. I feel like the controls wasn't great. They were hard to control. You have to look at the gamepad and the screen. At the same time, your TV screen and the gamepad, it was just hard to control. I couldn't see where I was aiming. It was a mess. It couldn't control well. However, I think if this game was ported over to Switch with motion controls and you know that cockpit Star Fox normal view that we see that you would see on the TV screen, it would work so well. It would work so well. Um, not the cockpit view, sorry, the not the the ship, the view of the ship. Um, now, I would love Star Fox Zero on the Switch. It would be great if they remade the controls with motion controls. As well, added motion to them, add Splatoon 2 style aiming. That'd be amazing. So, yeah, I feel like they could do that. They could also give some texture updates, some graphical updates, because this game didn't look amazing on the Wii U. Um, yeah, it was very ambitious for the Wii U, and it was it was 
you know, wasn't terrible in terms of quality. It was just, you know, trying to innovate for the sake of innovating. And I feel like a Switch port, a definitive edition, you could have some more missions. That'd be good, you know. A definitive edition of this game would do really, really well. I would enjoy it very, very much. However, I have another theory why this hasn't come out yet, why we don't know about this game being on the Switch yet. I feel like this isn't on the Switch yet because of Starlink. Now, that sounds weird, but Starlink had Star Fox in it. He was in the starter pack. You could play the whole game as Star Fox, um, and he was he was a big part of the game. And, you know, when I played Starlink, I played as Fox and treated it as a Star Fox game. So maybe when Starlink was in development, maybe Nintendo signed an agreement with Ubisoft and said, look, Ubisoft was like, don't bring out any more Star Fox stuff while we're working on this because we want our game to sell well. Maybe that's why they didn't. That's what I'm thinking. So maybe because they wanted to make Starlink be sell really well, be, be a really good seller, that's why they didn't want to put Star Fox Zero out there because it might confuse customers and stuff like that. Again, that's a theory. That's no truth behind that, but that's my thoughts. So I think, yeah, they're adding more content to Starlink. When that eventually stops and when Starlink is sort of died down and no one no one's really talking about Starlink, I think that'd be a perfect time to remake this game again. Now, a Star Fox sequel, I don't know. I, I, I like the idea of Star Fox Zero. I feel like it was a good game in concept, so I really want them to remake this one. I don't want them to do a sequel. I mean, a sequel will probably impress more people because, you know, it's a new game and we need more new games on Switch. But still, I feel like we could see this game being ported to Switch with better controls in the near future after Starlink has you know fully died and no one's talking about it. Another game that I feel like we haven't got yet and could get a Wii U you know a Wii U port of is the Pikmin series. We haven't heard anything from Pikmin. There was some rumours about Pikmin 4, however in 2017 we got Hey Pikmin for the 3DS. I didn't play that one, you know I kind of abandoned my 3DS after the Switch came out but you know um, yeah, Hey Pikmin 2017, that's what made me think, you know, we won't get a Pikmin game in 2017 for Switch, and maybe 2018 was a little bit too early after Hey Pikmin on the 3DS. However, I feel like Pikmin 4 could be in development, and it could come out sometime, maybe next year. This year is pretty full, and, you know, if Pikmin 4 isn't in development yet, I feel like we could see a port of Pikmin 3 sometime this year. I'm thinking maybe August for this one. That would be a nice game to fill a gap. You know, if there's a month where Nintendo hasn't really got anything coming out. I mean, they could have done it this month. They could have used February for this. They could have had February, Pikmin 3, a port. But, you know, they haven't done that. So maybe they have something in the works. I genuinely don't have a theory about this one. I don't know why this one hasn't come out yet. You would think we'd have a Pikmin game. When did the last Pikmin game come out? Like, full Pikmin game? I believe it was 2013, Pikmin 3 came out for the Wii U. So, you know, I, I've never really played a Pikmin game, so I really want to try it out. So, a, a port of Pikmin 3, I would love. A port of Pikmin 1 and 2. Pikmin Trilogy. I want to try out the series, you know, maybe even Pikmin 4. I want to try out the series, I think it's good. I've heard good things, so it would be nice for me to check it out. So, yeah, anyway, let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below. That's all my thoughts on the Wii U games that we haven't got on the Switch yet, you know. It seems really, really weird how we're asking for Wii U games, but, you know, they've, they've been doing really well, and they've been selling well, and they've been adding features to them, and, you know, in my opinion, I like to play games on the go, and I think it's cool, and I still haven't got tired of the whole, of the whole gimmick of taking things on the go, taking Mario 3D World on the go, that idea still, still seems very, very cool to me, so... Yeah, I know, I know people probably want new games because they already bought them on the Wii U, but, you know, I like to sell my Wii U copies to get Switch ones, so then I can play it portable, and I like that idea a lot. So, now, let me know what you think to this. Do we need any more Wii U ports? Do we need any more? Let me know, because I'm kind of torn. Because I do want them, yeah, I want new games, it's weird, I don't know. I would love for these games to come to Switch. Have I missed any games? Am I missing any games that aren't on the Switch yet? that should be on the Switch, that being new or old, um, you know. So yeah, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you in another SNF video. It's kind of weird, this, is, this isn't a live stream, it isn't a news video, it's sort of just a, a thoughts video. So I hope you have enjoyed it, if you have enjoyed this kind of video, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you in another one.